Joe Collins and Robert Marshall. Let's give them a hand. Come on, y'all. Y'all can do better than that. Let's go all the way from L.A. for the pandemic to be here. You good, bro. My name is Joe Collins. I'm going to let you guys know. When we heard about what happened out here, it touched us in L.A. And the reason why is because excessive police force on black and brown people happen all the time, especially in Los Angeles. But you don't hear about it on the news. You don't see people come together like this in South L.A. You don't see this at all. But I have a question. I have a question. This is what I want people to think about. Right? Because we're targeting our anger towards the police and the sheriff's department and everybody who uses excessive force. But who writes the laws that allow these people to do this stuff? Who writes the laws that allow these people to do this stuff? Where are the city council members? Why are they not out here with these families breathing with us? Why are they not in our community breathing with us? Where are the assembly members for this city? Where are the state senators for this city? Where are the congressional representatives for this city? The elected officials who we bought in the office, who they beg for our votes, they beg for our money. They want to they show pony and come out here and pretend like we stupid, take our votes and go back and allow our people to get killed every damn day. Where are they at? And why are they still in office? What do we got to do to get these people in office? Because it's, it's going to be on us. I'm going to tell you, I had a run in with the police and, the, and this we had a rally in Los Angeles right in front of the mayor's house. I didn't get arrested because I had people behind my back. I did not get arrested because I had the people behind my back. If I would have had all of you guys behind my back in South LA, they would have never touched me. So that tells me, just like the people up here are saying, we have the power. But we cannot keep allowing these elected officials to keep getting elected, coming to our communities and kill us on a regular basis. We have to be able to stand up and say, hell no, and vote their ass out of office. We need young black men like myself, like my man Robert, like my other guy over here, like Major Williams to stand up and take charge of our own communities because if we don't do it, we're going to continue to be victims. Victims of a system that we have the power to change. If we can write our own laws that say, you know what, the street lights, the three strikes law got to go. The crack law got to go. The, the war, the war on drugs got to go. All these mass incarceration got to go. All these laws that people thought sound good, that these elected officials voted for, target our neighborhoods, they target our people, they keep us poor, they don't want to let us build wealth, and then get the cops to come into our communities and kill every good black man that we got. So when are we as black people, when are we as Hispanic, when, when are we as the people who are living in these inner cities going to take a leadership position and tell these people it's time for you to go, you're not welcome here anymore. Maxine Waters, I'm running against Southern California, she's not welcome in South LA no more. These Mayor Garcetti, he's not welcome in L.A. no more. Gavin Newsom, who's killing our poor communities because we have no economic development with the shutdown, they're not welcome anymore. And we need the same energy in L.A. out here. We don't need to destroy our own communities to prove a point. Let's use our voting power and our voice and our $3 trillion that our black community has to get these assholes out of office because they're not welcome here. We don't want them here. We need to let that be known. We need to let our voices be loud. We need to let it be known. You're not welcome. Thank you, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, Thank you. I need you all to do one favor for yourselves. Because without you, Stephen Jackson, the mothers who have been affected, really affected, really affected, really affected. Can I hear you? Really affected. We have been really affected yes. by bad leadership. Yes. We have been really yes. affected yes. by bad politics. Yes. Today, we're not here for politics. No, we're here for the people. Yes. The people are you. Yes. We don't get on a plane to come out to a basketball game. No. We came out for the people. Yes. So the people that are standing before me today represent the United States of America. Yes. Whatever color they believe that the United States should be, we are the resemblance of what the United States of America should be. Come on. As you stand here, the mothers that have been affected, I need everybody here in solidarity right now as we speak to do one thing. They believe that we're all individuals. 
but there's a fist that you make. Come on, man. I've seen, I've seen President Barack Obama do it. I've seen President Donald Trump do it. They put up a fist because this fist represents solidarity and unity. So when you say a name, when I say George, you say Floyd. George! Floyd! George! Floyd! When I say George, you say Floyd! George! Floyd! George! Floyd! This fist right here stands for not only black power. It is black power to power of the people. It is the people. There are people of Latino descent here. There's a man here of Caucasian descent here. There's a person in this crowd that is Indian descent. Anyone in this crowd that is proud to be an individual and a person, please raise your hand. Because the next time, the next time we come together, whether it be tomorrow or myself, I'm sorry for bumping you like that, brother. But the next time we come together and I see you and you see me, you'll say, Robert Foster. Joe Collins, Major Williams, we're part of the people no That's matter right. whatever yeah. color we make. That's That's right. Right. Minneapolis, the West Coast is proud of you. Amen. I didn't say this off the West Coast is yeah. proud of you. Yeah. 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 Now I need you to be smart. Remember something, ladies and gentlemen, you can put your hands on because you get tired. <laughs> I'm about to be quiet in two seconds. I see a brother here from Somalia. Yeah. 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 Africa is here. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I need you to be smart. I need you to be smart. Did you hear me? Stand with me. I need you to be smart. Tell us how. Every building that we burn down in our inner cities, the people that are employed in those businesses are losing their jobs. Yeah. The power of the pen. Yeah. The power of the vote that you have will eradicate those who believe they are powerful. That next building that we burn down and the individual loses their job. George Floyd believed in one God. He said something out loud. He believed in grace. So you know what we're going to do with this rally right now before I pass this microphone? Because my mama taught me something. My grandmother taught me something. I need everybody to take off their hat right now that has on the hat. I need you to bow your head. Yeah. You know who we're going to pray for? Every wicked cop that has caused us to have to be here today. We're going to pray for those gentlemen and their families right now. No matter whatever God you believe in, please finish whatever you would like to believe with. But we're going to do something right now together in uniformity. Amen. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come. Yes, you said this is the day the Lord has made and we'll rejoice yes. and be glad in it. Yes. We didn't come here right now for us not to accomplish what you said, Father. When we came here with an expected end, as you said in your word, it will not come back for us. This is the people. Yes. Because this is the day. Yes. As it was all organized and put together, we made a decision and a choice. We have choices yes. Yes. to be able to come here. Yes. Father, we stand in agreement right now. We must pray yes. for the cops who have inflicted the pain. Yes. We yes. pray for their families yes. who have inflicted this pain. Yes. Those who have a mind state of wickedness. The devil comes in to kill, steal, and destroy. Yes. Yes. But we stand in agreement. Over this great land, over this great city, that the devil shall never have victory. Father, we declare and decree, as you said, speaking upon the land. You told men to walk to and from whatever they shall touch, it shall be theirs. We claim victory and justice. I can't hear victory. Victory and justice. Uniformity we stand, Father. Yes. We bowed our head. Yes. I saw men who had on Islamic to take off their to take off their garb. Jesus. So as we yes. bow our head in uniformity before you, yes. we thank you in the name of we Jesus Christ God. that it shall be done. Yes. That this day yes. there's victory yes. and there's justice. Yes. In, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Amen.